I love a throw down, took a long time to cook kind of meal pretty much any day. But I also love ease because let's be honest, not every day is a swim in the kitchen kind of day and today is one of those hurry up days. Frozen burritos are an easy go-to, but they can be bland and not the most appealing. So I'm going to experiment a little and give these babies a glow up. For this concoction, I'm using three shredded chicken breasts, one large casserole dish, a jar of Siete's green enchilada sauce, eight ounces of freshly grated cheddar cheese, and six frozen bean and rice burritos. I'm gonna start by preheating my oven to 400 degrees because, you know, let's be organized. To assemble my experiment, I'm adding about a half a cup of the green enchilada sauce to the bottom of the casserole dish, and I'm coating it really well to make sure that everything has enough sauce all over the place. Following that, I'm gonna put in my six frozen burritos in one single layer. I'm topping all of that with my shredded chicken and going hard by using all of it because I need these burritos to be piled sky high. Next up, I'm pouring the green enchilada sauce all over these bad boys and making sure to coat the chicken really well so it doesn't dry out in the oven because listen, nobody likes dry chicken, it's just disgusting. To that, I'm sprinkling half of the shredded cheddar cheese on top of everything. And listen, no worries, the other half will not be left out for long. I'm covering this with a piece of parchment paper to make removal super easy, and then topping that with foil before throwing this baby in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, this experiment is looking so cheesy and delicious, but wait, there's more work that needs to be done before we can devour this. I'm topping this with the last half of the shredded cheese and putting it under the broiler for five minutes so it will get nice and brown and crispy and even more delicious than it already is. And then the finished product. Seriously, look at how insanely delicious this looks. The cheese has a nice tan going, it's melted in all the right places, the enchilada sauce coated everything beautifully, and seriously, these burritos got it going on, baby. You know what comes next. I'm plating up a couple of burritos and look at the stretch on that cheese. Yes, girl, yes. I'm topping my burritos with cilantro, avocado, and maybe just a little salsa for good luck. Listen, these burritos are giving. You don't see it here, but trust me when I tell you that I promptly devoured this and burned my mouth in the process, but I don't even care. These frozen burritos definitely got a glow up and I likely will never, ever, ever be able to eat a frozen burrito on its own again. Listen, try these out, tell everyone you made everything from scratch and worked all day on this piece of heaven. I promise I won't tell.